Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I thought I would pick up my camera today. I'm just holding my little paper straw if you're wondering what I'm waving around. So I'm about to, I'm about to drink a protein shake in the car on the, our way out. Um, the time now is five to 12 and we have decided today that we are going to go to Broadway Vegan Market, which has been on my list now for quite a little while. The last time I went to Broadway Market was probably about three years ago. In fact, there's a blog post on my blog from 2015 called Broadway Market. And back then there wasn't actually a vegan market there, but they did have multiple stalls that sold like vegan friendly products and food and stuff. So Broadway Vegan Market has been going for quite a little while now, but I just haven't been back since they've got the separate vegan market. So that is what we're doing today. I've been waiting for a Saturday to come up for ages where we can do this. Um, and yeah, just really looking forward to seeing what's there. I haven't really seen much online about it. I haven't really seen many pictures of what to expect. So I don't know what foodie stands are there. So I quite like it like that because then I go with no expectations <laughs> and yeah, just see what we can find basically. So I thought I'd take you along with us. I think Andy's just trying to locate Naboo because she's gone a bit AWOL. Winnie is in the guest room, snuggled up. You look very snug here, Winnie. I'm tempted for my Saturday to be like this. Just trying to find your sister. This is my protein shake. I've been really enjoying pulsing unflavored pea protein powder lately. Um, it was recommended to me, so I've been having it in a smoothie. So I've been having frozen blueberries, banana, almond milk, and pulsing unflavored protein powder in a smoothie most mornings. Just to try and like up my protein a bit in the morning. So we've just arrived in London. We're gonna go and try and find some cash now. I don't think we should like spend loads of money on food. No, we always end up spending too much. We always end up getting way too much. It's because you want to try everything. You need to like assess the situation first and then work out what we're gonna get and then what we're gonna take home. Yeah, this is the thing. We normally get something to eat at the market and then we usually get like a selection of bits to take home for like a mezze dinner for tonight. So we need to assess like what's going to be good to transport home for tonight and what's going to be best to eat now kind of thing. I feel massively hungry. You will do once you get there. Andy always says that. I'm like, are you hungry? And he's like, no. And then five minutes later, he's like, oh, I'm starving. decided to go for the loaded nachos from Queen V. They look so good. And he's decided on the sausage. What one have you gone for? Traditionalist. 
I think that's what I said. Yeah. Mm. I wish I'd got that on, <laughs> on the film. <laughs> Someone just banged into Andy and he dropped the whole bag of food. Everything split and fell on the floor, so he's had to take the donut bag now to put it in. I think you'd bought too much food for that bag anyway. Well, yeah, we said we were gonna, not going to do that, didn't we? Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. <laughs> the car says it's like 29 degrees today. I did not anticipate it being this hot. And I feel like such an irritable mess because I've got hay fever. My eyes are streaming. I've already lost one of my winged eyeliners. My eyes are itchy and streaming. My nose is running. My makeup's just like sliding off my face. Oh God, so hot. And we just went to like the most busiest place ever. Need to turn the air con down. So yeah, Broadway Vegan Market was good. I wouldn't say it was exciting as Vegan Nights, which is probably my favorite vegan London street food kind of market thing at the moment. Vegan Nights is really good. I recommend going back a couple of videos and watching my video from there. I also done a blog post about it. It's just a lot bigger and there's just a lot more going on there. Like that felt really, limited today it felt like one of the guys mentioned that a few of the regular stands weren't there because they're on holiday or something so maybe maybe i didn't get to see the best of it today i'm not sure but it was okay what was there was okay um but it was actually quite good going outside into the other market areas because you've actually got like broadway market which actually had quite a few different vegan options as well including cross town donuts i I haven't, I've been to a Crosstown donut shop once and they kind of do all different sorts of donuts and they offer some vegan options. I wasn't expecting to see their stall there at Broadway today. I didn't know they had a stall there, so that was exciting. So I picked up two vegan donuts from there and that was actually in Broadway market, not the vegan market. And all the stalls in Broadway market generally had like really decent veggie and vegan options as well. Like. Andy picked up a falafel bowl from this stand that looks amazing. You would have seen it. It had like piled high olives and red cabbage and it just looked incredible. Um, my eye. Oh. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you do go to Broadway Vegan Market, definitely make sure that you step outside and check out some of the surrounding stalls and stuff anyway, because there's just loads, loads to pick from. I think in the end we went for like, a few different like curry dishes didn't we i can't remember the name of the stall yeah. i'll tell you later what else did we get we got the falafel got, bowl uh, falafel bowl what was in the falafel bowl i didn't even see like sort of salads they got like, like that sort of like slaw type stuff and mm. like um chili sauce hummus yeah that looks really good um, but andy dropped it on the floor and it looks like <laughs> i mean it didn't it didn't smash it didn't go on the floor but 
his bag broke and everything kind of fell out and the falafel box went upside down so the falafel box looks like a right royal mess at the moment but yeah we got like a noodly dish for later as well and then when we was in the main market we picked up a couple of um, onion bargees and a samosa. Samosa definitely hit the ground. <laughs> Skidded along the <laughs> <In> pavement. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I didn't want the samosa anyway. So. Second rule. Yeah, it was definitely on pavement though. Yeah, I think when we get back, we'll have a cup of tea and a donut and a sit down. I just wasn't anticipating it being this hot today. I don't know why. It's been so hot, like the past week or so. And it's not normal. I'm sure it's not normally. Yeah, I know, but I'm sure it's not normally this hot in May. No. Like this is what I would expect in like July and August. But I think this probably means that July and August will probably be like a washout. It feels like we're having our summer early. Like we're having it now. I think it's going to be hot. Anyway, I don't want to start moaning about summer and the heat and the hay fever so early on, but I'm just not a summer person. And I've said it before and I'll say it again but I think if you do have hay fever it definitely makes you more irritable in this kind of weather like hay fever for me I haven't really had it that bad until like yesterday and the day before yesterday and today it's just like really kicked in this week now so I hope it's not like this for the rest of the summer tofu noodles I picked up at the market today which I'm currently having for my dinner Is the falafel we picked up with is that leftover Nando's rice? It is, yeah. And we're just going in for the bargies now. And he's just trying out the dish that we got. That's like a soya meatball. They had it was weird though, wasn't it? They were doing like meatballs and curry. Yeah, we've got curry, <laughs> meatballs, rice, bulgur meat, and bulgur meat in the bottom happening we're not actually going away until thursday but i'm doing my washing and i feel like it's just easier for me to cope with things if everything starts getting put in the case so that's what i'm gonna do and morning zen i just thought i'd show you some of the things that i've bought this summer mainly for like holidays and stuff um this first one you can hear the pitter patter of chihuahuas and Pomeranians. Um, this floral kimono is getting so much use. I really love it. That's from ASOS. It's a bit creased at the moment. I'll have to iron that when I'm on holiday. But yeah, it's really lightweight and I just find that I don't really like getting my arms out a lot. So I find like things like this just help to give me like a little bit of confidence and make me feel good in what I'm wearing. So this just goes with everything really. Um, and then I spotted this in H&M the other day. It's like a really nice, um, I don't know what you would call this. It's quite see-through. It's like a sort of linen, I can't remember what you call it. It's in my head. Um, but yeah, like really lightweight, really soft. And it kind of buttons up and it's almost like a sort of, no, it's not quite a maxi. It's more like a midi. Um, but you can wear it open like this and it has a tie belt around the middle or buttoned up and it looks like a dress. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be like an evening look or a daytime kind of cover up, but I really like it anyway. Um, I'm really going in for like plant themed things this year. And this is another like sort of cover up shirt sort of thing that I got from Monkey. I haven't actually worn this yet. I don't feel like it's going with as much as I thought it would. Um, and it's quite heavy as well, it's quite heavy sort of nylon-y material, um, but I really like the pattern and I'm hoping to get some wear out of that on this holiday. Another cover-up I got from ASOS is this brightly coloured kimono. It's really difficult to show you without it hanging up, but yeah, it's just like a really loose-fitting kind of kimono, which again, I just really like for like the evenings and stuff. I could not believe this was in Primark, like I don't buy a lot in Primark but when I saw this in Primark I was like wow this looks like it's from Monsoon or something. It's so pretty and really lightweight, um, I think it was about £12, I might be wrong on that but I think it was around £12 and I just really loved the pattern and because we're going to Mykonos and everything there is very like blue and white I thought this would be really lovely. Um, I'm probably going to wear it as like a daytime to the beach kind of caftan but yeah I love this. So this is one of my favourite dresses this summer. 
um, it's again like midi length it's just sort of above the ankles um, not quite maxi has these really lovely embroidered balloon sleeves and these tassels I think this kind of style is called like a peasant style and I saw this a few other bloggers recommending this and I thought you know what I'm just gonna buy it it's from Jigsaw and I would never normally buy anything from Jigsaw it's not a brand that I would usually go in for and this was quite expensive I think it was about £100 but I've had so much wear out of it like you would have seen it in my Ibiza pictures and I've just been wearing it like loads so far it's quite I don't know it's, it's not a hot material but when the weather's really hot like it is at the moment it can feel a bit sweaty but it's great for those days where it's not so warm um, but yeah I just love it it's perfect for me because it covers my arms and it's just like very loose kind of fitting and yeah just super nice for summer so this will probably be like an evening dress for Mykonos okay a new favorite addition of mine is this beautiful kind of monstera tropical leaf um it's like a cover-up it's like a caftan yeah like a maxi caftan it has this really lovely cotton detailing on the arm um it's super lightweight and it has these gorgeous gold tassels and this was from florence and fred tesco's basically and look how gorgeous it is i literally can't wait to wear this around the pool it's definitely kind of like a daytime poolside beach cover-up kind of thing again it's quite see-through i think yeah but it's just the sort of thing you throw on over like a bikini and yeah i think this was about 20 pounds and probably one of my favorite items love this okay you're noticing a the theme now <laughs> i like tropical plant looking at clothes for holiday yes i do and for summer um this is gorgeous this is from monkey and this is one of their like caftan dresses it has really wide sleeves it has a really nice little tie waist thing to draw it in a bit and i bought one of these last summer and just loved it on holiday it was really nice and it could be daytime or evening but i will probably save this for evening just because it will be really nice to wear in the evening and it's quite cool and it's not fancy it's not super casual it's just kind of in the middle um oh i just noticed it's got like a split up the front as well yeah i think monkey's clothes are just such good quality they always have really unique individual designs um and they really cater well for like girls my kind of size like curvier girls and their clothes are always very generous which i really like so yeah i'm really pleased with this this is the monkey caftan dress that i bought last season um last summer and again it's the same it's got like really big sleeves it's got the tie belt waist thing although my ties have slipped inside so i need to find them yep it's got the split up the front it's exactly the same basically so i'm glad they've brought this back and i'm actually going to take this with me and get like another wear out of it i think it's a very dark leaf on this one that's better the lighting was a bit funny then um yeah it's like a really nice kind of salmon pink with this dark green leaf print all over it yeah i'm gonna take this with me as well and this one i've already been on holiday with um i posted this on my instagram page and Andy actually got a really nice picture of me in this dress and it received a lot of attention it's actually by a brand called blue vanilla but i picked this up on new looks website um and yeah it's maxi again it's got the tied waist thing that i quite like um i had to pin it together in ibiza because this is very low cut and you could kind of see my bra um but yeah it's got like a zip down the back and it's just a really flattering it's like kimono style i guess you would call it these big sleeves which i really like really comfortable probably not as generous in size um i went for an xl in this which is a size 16 and yeah it comes up quite snug um but i just really love the design on it this is the final dress i think i'm going to show you this is from boohoo um and it's kind of like this crinkly material it's got really nice lace detailing on it I went for it because sometimes I like a bit of mustard but I have found the top of it a little bit irritating like when I was in Ibiza I don't know if it's meant to sit like this or like on your shoulders um, and it kept like wanting to slide up into this position so it wasn't the most comfortable of dresses it's also got like this slip thing underneath which is a bit tight and irritating um, but yeah I think I'll take it with me because I did buy it for this summer um, 
but whether I actually wear it or not, that's another question. Morning everyone, it's now Monday. Um, and yeah, I've just been doing some work in the office. I've just had to pick my dad up from the airport. I've got my mum arriving later. It's all happening today. This is the day where everything is happening for some reason. <laughs> Um, Andy is currently mowing the grass, which is his new favourite pastime. To be fair to him, it is looking pretty good. Um, I'm quite glad this is his new favourite hobby because it means our grass is always looking nice. <laughs> I've also just been blowing a load of balloons up. Um, I don't know if you've seen in Tiger stores, but they have these like little balloons that spell out happy birthday. And they're only like two pound and they're really cool, but I bought a packet because it's my mum's birthday tomorrow. And so I've just been doing some little preparations for that, um, blowing up the balloons because when we, when she goes to bed tonight, I'm gonna lay it all out in the morning. And so when she wakes up, cause she wakes up ridiculously early. I think she normally wakes up at like five or 6 a.m. when she doesn't have to as well. So yeah, I need to put that out before I go to bed tonight so that when she wakes up tomorrow on her actual birthday, she will get a nice surprise and I'm also actually taking her to Kew Gardens tomorrow for her birthday. I thought it would be a really nice thing to do because she's never been I don't think which is crazy considering she's basically lived half her life in London and I've only been during the winter at Christmas for their Christmas lights thing which I would also really recommend if you've never been. I think you can normally book it around November time but I'm definitely going to go again this Christmas because it was literally so festive and it was such a fun night. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to going back during like daylight and to see it at its best really. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, today is just a bit all over the place really. I feel like this vlog's really disjointed. Like I was going to vlog quite a bit of stuff yesterday. In the end, I just vlogged what I was packing. Um, and then we had quite a lazy day and yeah, nothing really happened. Um, I'm just debating. I don't know whether I'm going to, what is he doing? I'm just debating whether to include Kew Gardens in this vlog or do a separate vlog. Don't know. I feel like this vlog's already quite long, but I'm not sure I would vlog enough at Kew Gardens to warrant a whole nother vlog. Bought these balloons from Tiger and they're a bit deceiving because basically they're just clear balloons, but in the picture they've got the confetti in, but you have to buy the confetti separately. But I don't know, it's not really working because all the confetti's just like float into the bottom. I wonder if they had helium in, if they would work better, but I've got a couple of them to put out. That's the birthday bag hidden. I've also just done the guest room, which is where my mum stays, where she comes. And I've got this new um, like marble coloured throw from Georgia Asda. I really like Georgia Asda's bedding. And I'm just really liking how this bed's looking right now. The pink velvet cushions from Georgia Asda as well. Those two cushions are Zoella Lifestyle ones. And yeah, I just think it looks really, really nice in here. I've just put a little bunch of flowers on there that Andy got me like a week ago, but they're still, oh no, they're starting to fade now. But yeah, I thought they looked quite pretty. I'm really tempted to go for like this sort of dusky pink color in my bedroom as well. I don't, I always have like white bed sheets and then just mix up like the pillows and throws and I'm really liking this dusky pink colour at the moment, but I've got yellow at the moment. I also love how minimal this room looks like when no one's in it, because like the little cloves around the thing just looks really nice, just with like the copper hangers on it. Got a little dressing table in here, dog bed, because my mum normally comes with her two dogs. A few plants, my friend got me this plant the other day, it's so cute, and I put it in this um, little face pot, so that's there. I'm just uh, taking you through to my bedroom because I mean, the bed looks like a mess at the moment. We basically have to cover up the pillows and everything because the dogs sleep on there. But this has been my sort of current bedding theme, which I really liked for spring, but I'm getting a bit bored of it now. So that's what's making me think like a dusky sort of pink would look really nice with our gray bed. Also invested in one of these heat mats or cooling mats, I should say, for the dog, Suki especially, because she gets really hot. And it actually has been working quite well. Like you can feel when you put your skin on it that it like takes the heat away from your skin. So initially she was, wasn't sure, but she has been using that now. But this Dyson fan has been like a lifesaver the past week or so. It's been so humid in here. So just having this on at night, just like over the bed has just been a dream. 
So yeah, I've had to hide, <laughs> I've had to hide the birthday balloons in my shower. But these are the balloons I was talking about. They kind of I'll open the door. They basically spell out happy birthday and they're really easy to blow up. They come with a little straw which you just put in there and when you take the straw out they stay inflated. They're quite clever really but I thought what a bargain for like two pounds and they spell out happy birthday. So yeah. Also I can't reach but these bottles here um, are the new Tropic hair care range. Which if you didn't already know, Tropic, who are renowned for their vegan and cruelty-free skincare, they've recently bought out a whole hair care range and I was very fortunate they sent me quite a few bits and pieces from the range which I've been trying out over the past week or so and I'm really impressed. I haven't done a blog post or anything yet on it um, but I shall be report reporting back my full findings soon. <laughs> they also sent me this like really cool, like, oh my god that feels so good when you're washing your hair you can give your head like this little massage as well and it helps to get like a deeper clean that feels so good i might just be doing this with it yeah so keep an eye on the blog i will be reporting back um very soon about that as well i'm not sure if any of you remember but basically a little while ago i done a video about adult acne and skincare and basically I was talking about all the Dermalogica products that I'd bought to help with my skin because I'd been really struggling with my skin. And I have to say, like, if you go back and watch that video um, and compare it to my skin now, okay, I have got makeup on, so you're not getting the full reflection, but I was having like major problems here. I mean, there's still are a couple of little bumps, um, but I think that skincare does wonders for my skin I don't know what it is about it it's just a really high quality skincare and my skin is feeling so much better um, I've also been having to turn down like specific skincare blog work which is annoying but at the same time I think where I was trying so many different products for my skin it really wasn't helping matters so I've had to be really strict and turn down like some different skincare work um, but I think just using like one thing on my face and not mixing it up all the time has definitely helped. Um, but definitely go back and watch that adult acne skincare video. Um, I will probably do like some kind of follow up video anyway, but I just wanted to throw in here whilst I was in my bathroom and notice the skincare that my skin is doing so much better now. And I think even just from like being in the sun a bit as well really helps my skin. And the winter months tend to just be the worst for my skin. I just, I get really spotty. So we need to have some lunch now, basically. I'm not sure what Andy's doing or where he's gone, but lunch should have been had. It's nearly three o'clock now, so I'm feeling hungry. Okay, it's really late, but this is what we've set up for the morning. It looks so good. Even if I do say so myself. Very happy with the balloons. <laughs> happy birthday, dinner. Good morning all. Um, I'm just in the process of getting ready, hence why my hair is still really wet. Yeah, so this morning was fun. We had Bucks Fears and cake for breakfast and we gave mum her birthday presents and stuff and it was a really fun morning we bought this massive like party popper cannon thing and and it was just taking ages to set off and then she was like aiming it at my face and then it exploded really loud and it was scary like it was such a loud cannon um and stuff went everywhere mainly towards my face which was funny um yeah so we're just getting ready at the moment and we're gonna go to Kew Gardens in a bit this afternoon um, I'm probably not going to make a whole separate vlog out of Kew Gardens because I don't normally film around other people who I'm not used to filming around. Um, but I'm going to get a few clips today and insert them into this vlog before I end this vlog. Um, yeah, it should be a nice day. Thankfully it's not too hot. The weather's cooled down a bit so I'm feeling much better. Um, yeah, it should be really nice. I'm really looking forward to it. And I just wanted to show you my outfit. So this is a jumpsuit that I got from Monkey and one of my favourite clothing brands and I just love it. It's really lightweight, it's got these really nice little button up bit here. It's very flattering, it's got sleeves, it's got a tie belt waist, it's got pockets which 
is another amazing thing and the legs are just like really wide and floaty um, I think this was about 30 35 pounds on Monkey and I just love it I'm tempted to get another one they've got a few different colors and patterns in this style so I think it's very kind of flattering and very cool for this kind of weather so that's me that's what I'm wearing um, I just need to dry my hair and then we'll be going mm -hmm. 